What's up everyone? Now, this is going to be a little trippy video to one of my favorite directors of all time, Wes Craven. He passed away today at the age of 76. Wes Craven, he's one of my favorite directors of all time, along with John Carpenter. He directed some of my favorite movies. Like, The Nightmare on Elm Street, like the first one. Without Wes Craven, this series would not ever be made. He also directed one of my favorite movies of all time, The Stripper and the Rainbow. It, it's really a shocking because a lot of people may know Wes Craven just for Scream and Never no, Elm Street, but they don't know the movies, other movies he did. Like Last House on the Left, the original 1970 version. That one was gotten started, along with The Hell of Fast Eyes. Those two movies you got in the start, and those were fucking masterpieces. They really are. Granted, they were shocking in the 1970, but they were really, really good. The other movies he did was The Twilight Zone, Shocker, one of my favorite series, Whistmaster, Dracula 2000. I could go on. Like, he made some of the best horror movies ever. Like, Wes, he could make one little simple subject and make it into a horror movie, and he will make it work. Again, an example, like, Never Elm Street, he read, like, an article about someone dying in their sleep, and he just took that idea and made the iconic Freddy Cougar that we all know and love. Wes can do that, like, if I could... So like a cup, a cup like this, he didn't make something work like that. Like he will make something like that work. He was a brilliant director. He was a brilliant writer. Everything he did was just amazing. And it just, again, it was just shocking right now because I was not even expecting this news to happen. Was it? I really don't know what to say because what Wes Craven again he's a horror icon like he made horror what horror movie what it is today he, with Scream he brought back horror movies because back in the 90s it was dying out with you could tell about the Nightmare on Elm Street series like it was dying out till Wes did Scream and New Nightmare those movies brought back horror he really did. Wes Craven was love what he did. He loves all the movie he did. And some of the movie he did were not horrors as well, but he loved what he did. Wes Craven take pride to any work he did. Like even even in his, I agree. I have to say this: like he even appeared in Shay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Like he even appeared in there and had fun in it. Like he enjoyed what he did. Wes Craven he enjoyed what he did. And again, it just was not for him. Like we would not have any of these movies we grew on love. Like, you know, I'm probably might stop the video right here just because I just want to pay my respect to Wes Craven because, again, one of my favorite directors of all time. And, and everyone will acknowledge Wes Craven just by, just by horror itself. And I'm just going to end the video right here. Rest in peace, Wes Craven. Thanks again for all the movies you've given us, made for us, and brought to us from Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, I'm, again, I'm going back to here just because Wes, 
you know, I'm not going to stop the movie, the video here because I need to address this because Wes Craven, he could make, if he came out on budget, he will make it work. Again, like the first time Elm Street movie, that movie was very low budget. But you can't, you couldn't even tell by that just by watching it. He made one simple little scene. For example, like the one scene when Freddy is standing over the bed. For what I've read from interviews, I saw like a documentary. He made that probably like around ten dollars. If he could do something like that with that kind of budget. That's his acknowledgement. Like, he knows what he's doing. Wes Craven is also a master of my practical effect. Like, when he sees in his mind, he was say, Hey, I want to do this. And they get it to work. And by example, with this movie, Nightmare on Street, like, everything like in there was cheap budget and it, he made it work. Now I'm just going to stop the video right here because again, Wes Craven, rest in peace, thanks for the movie and hope to see you real soon man, thank you very much.